All right, welcome everybody. This is going to be the recap for week ending on October 9th of 2020. Once again, let's look at the core strategy. These are what we call our naked setups, right? Basically what that means is that if you were to blindly take the every buy and every sell, this is the percentage of winning trades. We don't necessarily recommend you do that. Uh, we do recommend uh, using some of the other filters that we have, but nonetheless, what this is showing is that even if you don't do any kind of filterations, the patterns on their own do give you quite a bit of an advantage, percentage-wise, of being in a profitable trade. All right? So, as you can see, numbers are right back to where we want them, all in the 70s. Pound is the least uh, least favorite. We don't do a whole lot of pound US, but still you can see that we're pretty much pound US usually runs in the 65, 67% on average. At night it runs a little bit higher, but as you can see, we're all where we need to be uh, in terms of at least 70 to even going up to 80, 85%, which is just amazing considering that these are strictly just patterns. These are using no type of filtration whatsoever. So the patterns are very strong. And yes, they will continue to hold up like this moving into the future because it is based off of some very sound behavioral um, characteristics. So that being said, looking at the first trade of the day, once again, one loss this week uh, in the morning. Uh, giving us an 80% win ratio at night. First trade of the day does come after 7 p.m. Central, which is 8 p.m. Eastern, and that is running at 100%. So once again, the first trade out of the gate every morning, every evening, it continues to be a very high winner. So uh, what that basically shows you is that it shows you how strong these patterns can be, and there are very specific times when they tend to be stronger than other times, okay? But that all is taught in the course strategy um, course, all right, and in the videos. Um, let's look at our CB trades for the week. Once again, CB is the best method <clears throat> that I presently offer. Uh, it is now no longer available to first-time purchasers. You must purchase the core package first. And then once you master that, you and I will uh, evaluate whether you're ready to move on to CBs, okay? The CB is a, a different strategy altogether. Um, and the beauty of the CB is because I'm able to trade deep out of the money, okay? Where the core strategy is trading in the money, uh, the CB allows me to trade both in and deep out of the money, all right? So huge advantage to that uh, because you're taking small risks to have some really nice big gains. Uh, <clears throat> this brings up something that I've been thinking about quite a bit, and I've been seeing this with, uh, and I've always seen this, but uh, lately it's really kind of hit home. And what I see is, I see a lot of people, and what I always recommend before you trade either my method or any method, you need to be able to prove it. So you get into a demo account, right? You used to open up a demo account, and you need the master. You need to become profitable consistently, okay? Not profitable over a week, consistently profitable a month, several months before you even think about going live. And what I see is I see people doing that. I see they're very consistent. They trade their demo. They're doing well. They're making money every day. And they're doing it for a month or two. And then all of a sudden they go live and they take some losses. And the first thing that I see when they take a couple losses they're jumping back into the demo account and that's the wrong way to do it and let me explain it's like a good analogy is riding a bicycle when you first learn how to ride a bike you put on your training wheels right which in this case would be a demo account and you go out there and you get it mastered with those training wheels and then you take the training wheels off did anybody ever just start riding perfectly no we all started crashing but we didn't run out and put the training wheels back on again, did we? If we did that, we would never learn how to ride that bike. So once the training wheels are off, they're off. You just have to take a couple spills along the way, and you just have to master it and get going. And that's the same thing with trading. So when you finally go live, 
Don't plan on going back to demo. If you guys do that, I promise you, that's going to be your training wheel. You are never going to be a successful trader because every time you have a little bump along the way, and you will have bumps along the way, you're running back to that security of the training wheels. You'll never be a successful trader. You have to take it in baby steps. So once you get it mastered, then you go baby steps. Have very small objective, $50 a day. But don't be jumping back into your demo every time you have a loss. You need to stick with it. And for some people, they're never going to be able to get it because they can't control their emotions. As soon as they have a, a loss, they're going to be jumping out right away or they start with too small of an account. You have a couple losses. You can't trade anymore. I mean, there's a lot of factors in being a successful trader. So I don't want anybody out there to think that you're going to be able to just get into something and uh, master it all of a sudden you're going to be a successful trader on a consistent basis. Folks, it takes work, it takes dedication. you got to put the time into it. It's like any other profession. If you don't work it, okay, it's not going to work for you. And so you've got to take this in steps. But the biggest thing is when you're ready to go live, you go live. And if you take some losses... It's part of the game. You have to learn to deal with those emotions. You have to learn to work through it. And you have to learn to trade live because if you don't go cold turkey and just, I mean, when you go live, that's it. The training wheels are gone, folks. You, if you don't do that, you will not be successful long term. So a lot of people think, oh, I'm just going to go back in the demo and I'm going to master it a little bit more and then I'm going to come back live. And it's going to be a repetitive cycle. And I see it over and over and over again. So that being said, give yourself plenty of time to get it mastered in a demo account, then baby steps in live. But once you go live, if you go back to demo, it's you're just working against yourself. All right. So anyway, looking at CB trades this week, had a really nice week. Didn't do a whole lot of trading on Friday. Fridays can be kind of choppy. This Friday was kind of choppy. So really didn't do a whole lot. We had some really nice setups first thing in the morning. Took a couple of those trades, and then I was pretty much done. Uh, Sunday evening, kind of the same thing. I mean, Sunday evening was a little bit choppy, so I just traded a little bit. I probably could have traded more and done better, but uh, I didn't. I was just, I don't know, just really conservative on Sunday night. But uh, best night of the week was Thursday night and uh, Thursday during the day. Thursdays, all I focus on is CBs with in the evenings with my CB traders. It's strictly... Focus on nothing but C CBs, no distractions from any other type of trading. It's 100% CB. And when you focus uh, CB, it can be extremely profitable. Okay, so that being said, another great week overall. Love the percentages where we're at. Things are getting stronger. Things are getting better. This is a great time to trade. And it's going to continue that way on for the next several months. So... Anyhow, that's going to be it for this weekly recap. If you have any questions, go to my website, binaryprostrategies.com. Please provide me with your email address. I'll keep you up to date with these, um, with these newsletters. Also, any kind of new uh, patterns coming out, um, we'll, we'll, tell, we'll talk about that as well. Um, please subscribe to my channel. Let me know that you like these videos. And also, for the CB traders... Uh, and for the core traders, I am releasing another pattern for the core traders, and we will be doing some releasing on some new patterns for the CB. Some of those that have been with me on a daily basis, a lot of you CB traders know what I'm talking about. A lot of you CB traders, I don't see you come in that often. You're making a big mistake because, uh, as many have said, these patterns that I'm showing you now are game changers or really are something else. So, um, Core traders, you're going to get a, a new pattern next month going into November. And then also CB traders, same thing. We're releasing. We're kind of doing a little pre-release right now. And we're going to be really starting to focus on them uh, next month as well on uh, these several new patterns. So uh, you need to come in and you need to work at it. And uh, if you think you're going to come in and just learn it and go off and be profitable, it takes time. You have to work these patterns like anything else, okay? So I want to see everybody be successful, whether you're trading core or whether you're trading CB. Uh, you will be successful if you put time into it like you would any other profession. That being said, I wish uh, everybody to have a awesome trading week. Once again, any questions, go to my website. Shoot me an email with your questions. 
I just ask that you keep them uh, condensed to one email. Uh, I have several that will send me 10 different questions, 10 different emails. Uh, I don't have the time to get into all that. Please, so just yeah, if you have several questions, condense it to one email um, so I can focus on uh, working with my existing clients and uh, answering all these other emails. So that being said, everybody have a great week, and we'll be back next week with the next weekly update. Take care.